It's sometimes said that life imitates art, and in some ways that's truer in science fiction than any other type. Early pioneers of the genre like Jules Verne dreamt of things like tasers and electric-powered submarines decades before they were invented. More recently, the beloved movies like Avatar and the Star Wars series have inspired a new generation of scientists, designers, and engineers to create amazing new gadgets and life-changing technologies that bring the future to life. Here are 10 mind-blowing inventions inspired by the movies. Sexbots, Blade Runner, AI, Artificial Intelligence, and others. Whether you like, dislike, or have no opinion on the idea of robots built for people to have sex with, it's likely that they're not too far off from being fully realized as those we've seen on the silver screen for decades. As far back as the 1960s, films like Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine depicted robots designed to entice humans, typically in the form of scantily clad women. But it wasn't until 1982's Blade Runner that the idea was explored in a more nuanced way. Because of Blade Runner's cultural impact, it's likely that most of the sex bot prototypes in existence today, and there are several, were at least partially inspired by it. And 2002's AI Artificial Intelligence took the next logical step, depicting both male and female shaped sex bots designed to be the ideal lovers in more than just a physical way. With movies like this blazing the trail, the future of sex bots may eventually only be limited to our imaginations. Gesture Interfaces Minority Report Touchscreen technology has been around for a long time. The first research into the technology was published in 1965, and accurate touchscreens have been around since about 1988. But at the time that Minority Report was released, a screen that didn't have to be touched, that a person could interact with by gesturing at it, was unheard of. Watching Cruz toss, flip, and paw his way through information in a translucent hologram without ever touching it wowed audiences. Since then, a number of researchers and companies have been hard at work trying to bring this technology to life, including a startup called Leap Motion that has a device that can read finger movements in three dimensions, and Google, whose project Solus tracks hand movements at 10,000 frames per second and is small enough to be built into an Android smartphone. We're not all the way to Minority Report levels of hand gesture interfacing, but well, we're well on our way. Mobile phones, Star Trek. The long-running and beloved sci-fi franchise, Star Trek has inspired a fair share of cool inventions over the years, from automatic sliding doors to the iPad. But no single Trek-inspired invention has had a profound an effect on our day-to-day -day lives as the cell phone. More than just a handheld communications device, today's smartphones can connect to the internet, stream music and movies, play graphic-intensive games, and much more. By the standards of even a generation ago, they're basically magic. And we wouldn't have gotten to this point without Star Trek's iconic flip-top communication Cited as the inspiration for the original flip phone cell phone, Motorola StarTac, first released in 1996. Self-lacing shoes, Back to the Future, Part 2. Back to the Future 2 featured a lot of cool futuristic inventions for Marty McFly to play around with. Most memorably, hoverboards. While skateboard decks that hover as you ride them are, unfortunately, still impossible outside of specialized environments, another slightly humbler toy from the magic future of 2015 has actually become a reality, thanks to ongoing efforts from Nike's design and research teams, the self-lacing shoe. Nike built replicas of the high-top sneakers from the movie, of course, but those don't actually lace themselves. For that, fans will need patience and a cool $720 to snag a pair of Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0s. The company calls its innovation adaptive lacing. The shoes are only available in a few select locations to start, but jump in a time machine and head to 2047 and maybe they'll be a bit easier to find. Smart Glasses Terminator 2 Judgment Day Smart glasses had an inauspicious commercial start with the rollout of Google Glass a couple of years ago. Despite considerable fanfare and Google's best marketing efforts, people found them clumsy looking, less than subtle, and more than a little creepy. With few early adapters and a lot of consumer misgivings about the product, the company eventually just gave up on it. But that doesn't mean the idea is gone. In fact, it's very likely we'll begin to see more and more of this in the near future as designers and manufacturers get a better idea of what people find interesting about smart glasses and how they're likely to be used by ordinary people. It's a technology whose time has almost come, and we have none other than the Terminators to thank for it. The real-time visual data displays used in the human hunting robots in movies like Terminator 2 were reportedly an early inspiration for wearable augmented reality lenses like Google Glass. Autonomous Vehicles Total Recall 1990 
In the sci-fi thriller Total Recall, people can still get around by a car in the future, and some people still choose to take a taxi rather than drive themselves. But unlike today's services, the cabbies in Total Recall don't actually exist. That's right, the cabs drive themselves, though a dummy figure named Johnny Cab serves as a familiar interface for the human customers. Back when Total Recall was released in 1990, this seemed very futuristic. But today, thanks to researchers at Google, Tesla, Ford, and other companies, a world of self-driving cars may not be very far away at all. Though plenty of other films since have also used the idea, including iRobot and Minority Report, Total Recall was the first to explore the idea memorably and, uh, convincingly? Laser Cannons, War of the Worlds, 1953. Based on H.G. Wells' 1898 book of the same name, War of the Worlds tells the story of an attack on Earth by technologically superior Martian forces who devastate Earth's defenses by massive heat-based ray guns mounted on Martian spaceships. Since then, ship-mounted laser weapons have become a common sci-fi trope, appearing in Star Wars, Star Trek, Babylon 5, and other beloved franchises. While we have to give credit to War of the Worlds for being an early inspiration for those mounted laser laser cannons, which are now slowly becoming a reality. Case in point, the new laser weapon system, or LAWS, mounted on the USS Ponce since 2014. It doesn't fire a bright colored line like in the movies, but it can still burn out vehicle motors and bring down drones with just a few seconds of focused laser energy. Lifelike Synthetic Limbs, Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Everybody remembers the climatic scene in The Empire Strikes Back in which Luke Skywalker finally learns the terrible truth about his father and loses his hand in short order. And the final shots of the film were treated to a close-up of his new bionic replacement which looks just like his old hand, but which is actually a highly advanced piece of technology with lifelike skin and the sense of touch. What seemed like pie-in-the-sky dreaming back in 1980 is now quickly becoming a reality as scientists continue to make more breakthroughs in artificial limb technology technology, from robotics that can be controlled with a thought just like an organic limb, to brain implants which can help bypass nerve damage, and advances in lifelike artificial skin, we're rapidly approaching an era where a replacement of a lost limb might be not only as good as the original, but even stronger and more durable. Lightsabers, the Star Wars series. Pretty much everybody who's seen a Star Wars movie has come away from the experience wanting a lightsaber. They're the physical representation of everything we love about Star Wars. Unfortunately, due to light's tendency to fly away from its source at, well, you know, the speed of light, scientists haven't yet come up with a feasible way to build these elegant weapons for a more civilized age. But one engineer came close, Alan Pan, the inventor behind a company called Sufficiently Advanced. His lightsaber is basically an insanely long jet of flames that springs from a modified replica handle, complete with built-in sound effects. We wouldn't recommend any high-speed aerobatics with it, but it's as close to the real thing as we're likely going to get in this galaxy. Giant mech robots, Avatar, and others. Robots that walk like people have been around in popular imagination for decades. But until recently, they were strictly in the realm of fantasy. Now, thanks to a company called Hankook Mare Technologies, the world's first known bipedal man robot has been built in South Korea. The robot is still tethered to its power source by a thick cord, and it's still a prototype. Though the company hopes to start selling mechs by the end of 2017, the 4 meter tall 1.5 ton beast, which has motion-controlled arms and working hands, is nevertheless a dream come true for its creators. And while the robot, named Method 2, may have been inspired by a lot of different shows and movies, its final design looks startlingly similar to one seen in James Cameron's sci-fi mega-hit Avatar. Whether by design or sheer coincidence, fans of the movie may soon be able to shell out for their own giant robots and steal the show at every convention. And those are 10 of the coolest and most amazing inventions we've seen lately, but we'd love to know about more. What are your favorite new creations inspired by the movies? Give this video a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more mind-blowing videos about movies, video games, comic books, and more.